I'm so glad to see, man, me and Pasco just came here and wanted to, I mean, it's like a full house, but Pasco, it is. so we can have that image in our mind as yes. we drive in the cotton port, yes. as we hear you guys, we hear you guys, but we don't see you guys, so now we are seeing you guys, and we can hear you guys, yes. and reflect back on the, all the encouragement that has been said this morning. Yes. It's such an encouragement to be here, brothers and sisters. Yes. It's so loving to fellowship with each other, and, I, and I'm just so happy to be part of this ministry that God has given each and every one of us. Amen. It's so wonderful. So wonderful. And I want y'all to know something. Our prison ministry is a 
top-notch prison ministries <laughs> in the brotherhood and in this nation. <laughs> 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 That's we know every warden from every prison. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He talk to the prison. Yeah. Amen. So I got to get in contact with all of the facts. Amen. 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 That's a good thing. That's the person that's been for the past few years. Amen. Never met a straight. Amen. 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 Amen.
and it's your desire to give us those things we need. And so we ask you for what we need. And even your master, when, when we ask for things that we, we may think we need, we know you know what we need. And so we just ask you to grant us what you will for us to have. Thank you this morning for us being here. And for those on the telephone conference line who ask for prayers and who, who, who just give us testimony of how good you are to them in spite of what they're going through, we pray. Yes, yes. We ask you to bless us this day. Yes. Have, to have, a, have, a, have a great day worshiping you because you deserve for us to praise you. Yes. Yes. And we pray we won't let any outside distractions or even some part of some some feelings get in the way. Because the truth of the matter is we can never be good enough to worship you. But you allow us to worship you anyway. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's your song book. It's your song book. I'm going to sing two songs before I get ready to speak on the day. But the Spirit is going to come and lead one of my favorite songs he sings. Don't let your light Burn it low. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, Smitty sing there, so y'all ain't going to sing. Smitty will sing by itself. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's see. Let me, let me try to sing some songs we don't normally sing. So everybody please get the song book. So, so we can all, all be encouraged. I have a suggestion. Hey, we family, y'all. Three eight. Let's go on over. Rinda. 
singing of glory to His name. Singing the glory to His name, His name. to my heart was the blood of God. Singing the glory to His name. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
part of our service and giving. In 1 Corinthians 16, verse 1 says, Now concerning the collection of the saints, as I have given one to the church of the Holy Spirit, even so be you. Upon the first day of the week, let everyone who lay by him in store, as God has prospered, that there will be no gathering in the Let us be Dear Lord, if heaven, we come to you with our hands and humble hearts, thank you for the many blessings you have given us, dear Lord. We come to you for the money that we are about to receive, dear Lord, that it can help the building and your kingdom grow, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't let 
the Apostle Paul is in prison. And he pins this letter to the church in Ephesus. I'm so glad that the church of today has examples of what should guide them in their everyday living. Christianity is not just to be lived on Sunday. Amen, somebody. Amen. And I say that because Sunday is the day when the church and the New Testament met to come together. And I want you to know Sunday is a little bit easier to live a good life or a pretty good life because it's the day when we gather the worship. Amen. So at least part of the day our mind is on the Lord. But the problem with that is that Sunday can't be lived every day. Right. Amen. Amen. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes. And on those days, the devil is busy. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now don't get it, don't get it twisted. He also busy on Sunday. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. How many times you wake up Sunday morning and say, I'm gonna be early in the service, and then the devil steps in and say, mm -hmm. no. How many times you went to bed on Saturday morning and said, I'm going to go to church service Sunday morning. And when Sunday morning gets you. Amen. 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 So don't you get it twisted. Although we're here today, that don't mean the devil ain't here. As a matter of fact, I want you to know something. That's right. The devil comes to worship service every Sunday. Amen. 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 Go back and read scripture and you'll know that everyone, whenever God's people got together as God's people, Guess who came to? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Believe me, he, 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 he was dragged by somebody. Well, I shouldn't say he was dragged. Sometimes we, will, we willfully bring him to service. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. We have some bad attitudes. Mm -hmm. I, I want to clarify something. I want to clarify something because I need you to give me this. Amen. Look, I don't care how raggedy of a life you live on Saturday. Well, and I say that because when I grew up in the church, Man, man, look, look. When I grew up in the church, here's how I felt. Here's what I thought until I learned better. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I've I done something I'm supposed to do on Saturday, so I'm just coming to church. I'm just going to sit there and, and don't say nothing. <laughs> Amen. Y'all know y'all rest for that stuff, too. Yes. Until I repent. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You should sure repent this Saturday night, but if you can not it's sure okay to repent Sunday morning. Right. Sing. Amen. The devil don't want you to sing. Amen. Because the devil knows if you start singing about God, you'll be reminded how God has been good to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And the devil sure enough wants you to forget how good God has been. Yeah. Because when you forget how good God has been, yeah. amen. amen. You have a tendency not to appreciate yeah. what God has done. Yeah. You can sing the devil out of your heart and mind. Amen. If you don't think I'm telling you the truth, you just try. Amen. When the devil get in your mind, just start singing a couple of songs. Amen. Amen. And sometimes you're going to sing them loud. And sometimes people think you're crazy. Right. What are you doing? He talking to himself. And he already saying it all out loud. No, you tell them, I'm trying to get rid of the devil. Yes. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And don't tell me because I'm a child of God. The devil will never get in my thoughts. Yes. I'm holy. Yeah, right. I know who you're talking to. Uh, uh, look, I know better than that. I'm the preacher. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. The devil messes with me sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, he messes me more than I want to mess with me. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Are you somebody in the back yard yet? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. I, I pray I have because man, one thing I know the devil don't like mm. is when God's people come together to worship him. Yeah. And you participate. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look, if you don't know the song, the song we just sung, let's just say what Winston used to say. Jolie, yes. Jolie, Jolie. Jo <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and God know what you say. Amen. 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 And so today we're, we're happy to be here. But as Paul begins to write this down, he's reminded of the difficulty the child of God has. In his everyday living. Listen, I don't know about you. Because I do come to service together, together with this body of people on Sunday. On Sunday, it's a whole lot easier 
to live this Christian life. Mm -hmm. I don't have too many problems with the devil on Sunday. He met somebody. Amen. But wait till Sunday is over. <laughs> and I have to face that world mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. And all the other days. I need something. That helps me to know how to navigate that part of my life. Mm -hmm. You see, look, look, the ladies were together on yesterday. Y'all had a good time. Oh, yeah. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. But watch the devil. Oh, yeah. Because when you try to have a good time, the devil trying to sneak in some way he can. Oh, yeah. 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 That's right. Don't you let him oh, let you be the instrument that he uses to do that. Uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And so sometimes, Brother MC, when I see Christians talking to themselves, like I'm like, ah, I'm I know saying. what's going on. <laughs> they have a conversation trying to get the devil off their thoughts. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, wait, wait, let me let me test the waters. Am I the only one that do that? No. no. Nope. If you do that, raise your hand, please. Oh, thank you. Uh, 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 I was thinking I'm going crazy. You know, you know, yeah. you know. You know. Man, look, sometimes my, my mind, brother, brother, just seems like it's a a, a, a winding, a winding chicken going. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me test the water again. Please say I'm not the only one to do that either. Okay, okay, I want to see, because okay, they go. Because, man, I don't want to think I'd be crazy for the Lord. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. But you know, let's see, Pamela, I'm going to leave you alone for a while. But I try to be honest in my preaching. I try to do in my living. Amen. Amen. I wish every day was an easy day spiritually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Yes, Lord. Your Lord. Things happen. Yes. Life happens. Yes. Yes. But I'm so glad I don't have to try to, to, to come up with a way of how to navigate this thing. That there's an apostle called Paul, there's an apostle called Peter, there's an apostle called John. Mm. And what these men did, Brother Lace, was write letters to churches. They not only wrote letters to churches, but they also wrote letters to individuals. Y'all do realize that individuals make up the church. Amen. That's right. And so Paul often wrote individuals to let them know, here's how you do it individually. But he also writes to the church to help the church to know how we do this collectively. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And how we do this collectively is to realize that that's exactly what we are. We are a collective group of believers. Who come together to worship God. Yes. We are a community. Within a community. Mm -hmm. And I stress that often because sometimes this community mm -hmm. is more messed up mm -hmm. than right. that community. Yes. Because we got some things going on in this community that should not be. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because we face that same junk. Out there in the world. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about my God person a family in a community? Mm -hmm. Apart from the other community? Mm -hmm. Because he expected us to act different. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now y'all with me? Yes. Yeah. So I, I ain't got to guess how to do things. I ain't got to rewrite nothing. All I got to do is follow what's written. Amen. God made it easy. The man of God ain't got to reinvent nothing. Somebody say, Brother Harold, how do y'all preach so often? Well, can I tell y'all really what sermons is? And I shouldn't tell y'all this. Every sermon I preach is recycled. <laughs> it ain't nothing you ain't heard before. Right. There ain't nothing new. No, sir. I just gotta remind you. Yes. Because sometimes we act like we forgot. Yes. Yes. And that's what the devil's job is. Mm -hmm. Is to help us not remember. That's right. So my job is to help you remember what you should already know. Amen. 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 If you pay attention. Amen. 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 So every 
sermon I've preached has been a recycled sermon. And you telling me, boy, that was a great sermon. And I'm telling you, you heard that before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just don't look. That's right. And I'm not naive, not, not, not naive enough to think that you think I, I, I believe that. You know, look, 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 listen to me. I love when people say, great sermon. Mm -hmm. but, but can I tell you what I love more? It's when I see us as a collective body Amen. living out that struggle. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I don't get a thrill of thinking I'm a big orator. Every man that's a man of God that's worth his worth does it because he knows the power of the word to change lives. That's what I preach. I don't preach because I think I'm the greatest world to in the brotherhood. I don't preach because I think I have more knowledge than anybody else. I preach because I know God's word. Amen. You heard I said God's word yes. can change your life. Yes. Amen. That's why I preach. And so I don't have to reinvent the word. All I got to do is regurgitate it again. Y'all like that word? <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw the tell every once in a while I can see. Every once in a while I get, I get out a pretty nice little word. Amen. You know, you know, you know. But that's all I do. The Bible says to he who hath an ear, let him hear. Amen. So I know my job. I tell you all the time, often, I'm the baton in the hand of a great conductor. Amen. I'm the paintbrush in the hands of a great painter. The power is not in the baton or the brush. The baton is the hand of the artist that God gave it to. So I know my role. Mm -hmm. As Paul writes to the church of Ephesus, there are some things he has to remind him of. In Ephesians chapter 4, he tells us he's in prison. And I was going to watch the, te the, the tenure of this, of this text because in, in prison, he begs the church to do something. First verse he says, I beseech you to walk worthy of the call in which you were called. Now, now, we got some brothers who are going to prison as we as we preach. They're going to see brothers who are locked up in prison, locked up behind bars. But don't you mistake one for the other. Here's what I mean. There are those who are locked behind bars who are going to hear the word, brother, just this morning. But there are spiritual balls and mental balls mm -hmm. and other balls to those of us who are not in prison. Mm -hmm. And don't you be fooled. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever think those who are locked behind balls are not worthy of getting the gospel. Mm -hmm. Because they're behind balls. Mm -hmm. Because while you're out there and you're walking free, I want you to know there are some balls you are behind. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And the thing about your balls, you can't see them. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Those men in prison can see their balls. <laughs> Evident. But sometimes those of us who are out or behind bars and we don't even know it, that that's real prison. Mm -hmm. say, why? Because you don't know where you eat. Mm -hmm. right. You don't think those in Cotton Port of Angola and Hutch don't know where they're at? Oh. Mm -hmm. They know where they're at. Yes. Yes. <laughs> those of us who are not behind those physical bars. That sometimes don't know where we are. God have mercy. Paul's in prison. What he does in prison, I want to encourage them. What you want to encourage them about? I want them to remember who they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Do you remember, do you remember who you are all the time? No. 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 We forget who we are sometimes. Mm -hmm. We come outside ourselves. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. We know we do. Yeah. But you know what? Even when I come outside of myself, mm. 
God has put me in a community to help me with that. I, I should be able to call somebody and say, hey, I got outside myself. Right. And when I call you, Brother Lace, and say I got outside myself, I don't expect you to call Brother MC. Nah. Yeah. If I want him to know, I'm going to call him myself. Yeah. So when I call you to tell you my stuff, don't you call nobody with my stuff. Yeah. If you're going to call somebody with some stuff, call them with your stuff. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Look, 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 you might not like the kind of preacher, but it's still good for us. Oh, yeah. But I call you. Look, if I went to the brotherhood to know, I would stand up in front of the church and say, wouldn't I? Yeah. Amen. But if I didn't ever call you, then also I hear some of you, then you be lying. I didn't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I only told you. <laughs> and I didn't tell somebody that me yeah. say amen. Yeah. And you be lying to me, I know you lying. Paul says, I, I want to encourage you to remember who you are. Then Paul tells us how to do it with lowliness and gentleness, long suffering. Watch this. Bearing with one another in love. Now, now, now I need y'all to hear this. Now I need y'all to hear this clear. We ain't just putting up with each other. We loving each other in the middle of all that. And that ain't always easy. Oh, no, no. And I'm not even, I'm just going to be the church so you don't know where I'm going to. So I'm still not keep it on. With all loneliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love. He goes on to tell us some things the Spirit of God brought together. Those things God's Spirit has brought together, I'm, 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 I'm in this in a nutshell. The Bible says we, 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 endeavor, we need to endeavor to keep what the Lord has put together. Now here's the thing about it. If the Lord has put it together, who are you to try to take it apart? Amen. If you put it together, you should leave it alone. Right. And do what the Lord told you to do. Right. Keep it. Amen. Amen. What are we endeavoring to do? We're endeavoring to keep it all put together. That's why the world is so 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 wicked right now, because everybody trying to deal with what the Lord has put together. Mm -hmm. Just leave it like the Lord put it together yes. and try to keep it. Yes. Yeah. Keep it how? Keep it how I'm all put it together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't add your two steps. You know what I mean? Don't add your two sins. Yeah, yeah. God don't need your heaven but God put together. Amen. If that's the case, he'll put it together as he talked to you. <laughs> God didn't consult you when he put it together. No. Yeah. You just endeavor to keep it. Let me tell you something I learned in life. You see, I don't mess with God's business. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. Ooh. And that's why, you know, people say, well, they have this wrong or this right. Is this wrong or this right? I'll tell you what did God say. Because I want you going to heaven and say, Dear yeah, God, I had Brother Harold who was against that and Harold disagree with you. No, don't ask me that. Don't put me in that position. Go ahead and talk what he's saying. Brother Harold, I, I, I just can't stand Brother so and so. I said, So and so. I'm going to tell you, God said, Love one another. I can't say, well, you you right not to like them. You, you, I tell you that. <laughs> I tell you what God said. And let's read on. This way I want to. And this is where I'm going to park for a few minutes and then give it to you. Verse 7. But to each one of us, grace has been given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Somebody say, with an arrow, is that a favorite verse you have? Well, in the Bible, mm. Ephesians chapter four, <laughs> verse seven is one of my favorite verses. When I understood it, mm -hmm. now I want to stop, expose you to some doctrine that you may not have heard before. But I got a good basis for it. I want to hear this. If you ever thought that you were the worst person in this world. You ever thought you were unworthy? You ever thought you were the worst of the worst? The scum on somebody's shoe. 
or somebody that made you feel you were worth nothing. Mm -hmm. That second verse is your verse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to introduce you to a subject where, where there was people who were the most wicked, the most evil. God showed them all grace. Yeah. Oh, you hear what I just said? I don't care what the world has labeled you. I don't care what you labeled yourself. I don't care how bad you thought you lived. I don't care what you have done. And what you've done could have been the most evil thing that ever a man could do. I want you to say, verse 7 tells me, God is the type of God that knows how to dispense grace. And there are some people God extended his grace to more than he did other folks. Mm -hmm. That's in the word. Amen. Are you listening to me? Because some people live in this world like, <laughs> you don't know what I've done. I don't care what you've done. Verse 7 says, but to each one of us, God's grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. God knew how to give you the grace you needed based on you. <laughs>
This word basically said, uh, tells us that Christ died, when he died, he went to what and did what? Now he who descended is also the one who ascended. He mm -hmm. raised from the dead. And he raised from the dead, the Bible says, in verse 10, far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Now here's why this is so important. This verse basically tells us Christ was not the first one to raise from the dead, but he was the first one to raise from the dead and live forever. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. And with that, he peaked it. That's why all power was in his hand. Yes. Because the last enemy yes. to defeat, yes. the last enemy to defeat was death. He beat death. Yes. Death kept the ground for three days, but there is a Sunday morning. He got up. Yes. And after he got up, he said, oh, all power yes. is in my hand. Amen. 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 Yes. And so that's what that verse refers to, is that uh, for, for above all the heavens that he might feel all the things. And he himself gave some to the apostles. Now what you're going to read in the last verse, down the floor, here's the order of how God put these in the church to carry out the mission of the church. The apostles were first seen. There were prophets in the church. Evangelists, pastors and teachers. Mm -hmm. Watch this. For the equipment of the saints. Somebody say, what did God do? God gave the church what the church was going to need to survive mm -hmm. in, in this world. Yeah. So let me tell y'all something as I take my seat. Do I want to be long? Every last one of us here has a gift that God has given us. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Look at what the Bible says. Now it tells us these things because these are the things that first got into the church so all the other works in the church could get carried on. That was, the, that was the apostles first city. They were prophets of the church. They had prophets that were being prophesied about things that were going on. I don't know the church, but they would go on. They were evangelists. Uh, uh, uh. And the evangelist would be somebody like Paul. Paul was a preacher in various areas and depths in churches. But if you know what Paul did when he started the churches, he put some men in, in, in control so those men could help the church grow and do what the church needed to do. And when Paul needed where he went. So the pastors and teachers, watch this, for the equipping of the saints. The saints need equipping. Mm -hmm. And guess what God did, Brother Lace? He didn't leave that in the hands of men. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, and he gave some. Mm -hmm. Everybody was an apostle. Mm -hmm. Everybody was not an apostle. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. Everybody was not an apostle. Mm -hmm. Everybody was not an apostle. Mm -hmm. But that's why you're dressing that. Because sometimes some of us want to be, look, no, 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 no. <coughs> Get in your lane. Stay in your lane. Okay? There were some apostles. There were some prophets. There were some evangelists. There were some pastors. There were some teachers. L listen, listen, these are different roles that God placed in order for the equipment of the church. Everybody was a pastor. Everybody was a teacher. Amen. But together they equipped the church. And God is still doing the same thing today. He's equipping the church. So in this fellowship, as I take my seat, so I say, why you smile? Because God has already equipped us with everything we need. Amen. Why to do what? Not to only equip the saints for the work of the ministry. Watch this. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Yeah. The word edifying means to build up. Mm -hmm. To encourage. Mm -hmm. In these pews. Amen. Mm -hmm. God's already equipped the church with what it needs. Here's what you need to do as I take my seat. Ask God. God. <coughs> Where do you want me to fit? <laughs> Let me tell you something. See, some of y'all fit in and don't know you fit in. Let me show you you fit in. When Sister Esther stood up and talked about Sister Pat. Amen. <coughs> what y'all think she was doing? Oh, she was happy. Telling us how the children are already equipped. Yes, indeed. Amen. To the king. You're the major up now of this congregation. Amen. God got you here because guess what? God know some of these young women Come on now. Yeah. can use your help. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, man, man. 
Y'all don't see it? We, we just miss it. We just miss it. And so I'm telling you, the church is already equipped. Look, look, look Brother Walter came in. So there's no way to do this, man. We could have said, no, 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 no. We didn't say nothing. We just sat down and listened. Yes. Amen. You know why? Because God equips. Yes. 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 Man. Yes, indeed. What are we doing? Messing up with God equipped? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to be encouraged. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Yes. Man, wait, 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 look, let me tell you something. When we, we, we lost, we lost Bryce, man, look, church, family, y'all can never know. Every time we saw y'all bringing something to the house. Yes. For coming. Man, Sister Pam would come and she would go in and talk to Bryce. Kiss all on him. <laughs> man, y'all, do y'all know what that did? You ain't got to wait for the preacher to tell you what to do. That's Amen. Right. That's, That's right. right. Amen. <clears throat> Man, just do it. Get it done. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. God gives you. Amen. Look at this text. Yes. Yeah. It's already equipped. Mm -hmm. The problem is we need to start encouraging each other yes. to use that. Yes. As I am, I'm going to tell you a story. Some of you don't know. I'm going to tell you how I met Brother Lace. 2004, I had a heart condition. I was walking through Sands. True story, I was through Sands. I was passed out mm. in Sands. I started sweating profusely. When I say profusely, I was sweating through my clothes, and it was like wintertime. I'm like, something wrong. Yeah. I'm leaving out of Sands. I'm pissing a basket. I saw myself. Falling. I saw myself falling. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I got, I, 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 I called my family. I'm like, whoa. I drove over to work. So I was trying to watch the go at the time. Mm -hmm. And I felt pretty good at work. Then I started feeling those feelings again. Mm -hmm. I got in my car and drove myself to the hospital. Mm -hmm. The old Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. Just listen, listen to this. Mm -hmm. They told me. Are you crazy? And here's why that was crazy. <laughs> my boy, the girl where I worked, that was an ambulance service. Yeah. Next girl. Next girl. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about getting to the hospital. <laughs> so I drove myself. When I got there, I had a heartbeat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the 200s. <laughs> so they, took, they, put, they admitted me to the hospital. I got it with yeah, yeah. It got down to 108. I had the doctor believe, well, can I go home? No. They said no. I was like, are you crazy? No, I mean. Don't <laughs> be. I'm like, well, I can't be that 200. It's half of that now. Well, if you can't go home, that's probably what's wrong. That's right. Went home. He scheduled me. Now procedure. Found out I had super ventricular tachycardia. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, Jesus. They wanted an operation. Some crazy little dude come in my hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> All excited. Mm -hmm. Talk about God. Now, I don't know if he was a preacher or not. I don't think he did at that time. I'm like, this woman don't know my preacher. He ain't got to talk to me about God. I know God already. <laughs> the first thing he started talking about, how oh, I got to visit with the man upstairs. I say, you do? He say, you're more pretty man. Mm. He didn't know me for that. Mm -hmm. He said, talk to me. Encourage me. That was in 2004. Mm -hmm. I've been knowing Brother A since 2004. Mm -hmm. When I met him, he talked about the Lord. Amen. I'm like, wow. You see, God had already knew. That's right. 
That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Who I was going to be. Yes. In that hospital. That's right. Yes, That's right. Before I got there. Right. Yeah. 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 And he'll tell you, that joke encouraged me. Yes. He wasn't no pastor or preacher or no elder. He was a regular man that loved the Lord. Amen. And God knew I was scared to death. As big as bad as I thought I was. <laughs> and y'all know me, I think I'm big and bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was in that room scared to death. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, I, I might not make it home yeah. to my family. I was scared. Brother Lynx was a lifeline. Yes, Jesus. So I'm going to tell y'all something. Don't tell me nothing about Brother Lynx. Right. So I'll tell you, leave him alone. That's right. Because I believe with all my heart, God placed him there. Yes. For me. God has it fixed me. That's right. So I want you to hear this as I take my seat. If God is going to put you through it, God has already given you what you need to get to the other side. Use it. Use it. Now if I put it in the vernacular, it has to understand something. Brother Lace, while Sister King is the major officer, so the ladies is the patriarch. Right. So he's the oldest man in this congregation. And if you do some good, and sometimes sit down and just talk to him. Mm -hmm. But one thing I do know, he loves the Lord. Amen. 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 Well, I gotta tell you, you are a blessing to me. Like you said, I didn't know you were a man. Oh, you sure did. No, we didn't know you. I did find it out. I found a home. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm glad you this home. Oh, yeah. I knew that there was a man here in this building that had a close relationship with God and I could feel it in your presence. Oh, Amen. Yeah, well, like I said, I didn't know you from Adam. I didn't know him. I sure did. But I know God sent you, man. I was scared to death of that room. That's my lesson. I want to stop the Twitter and y'all are in the old line. Pam! I'm not here trying to put myself on the pedestal. I'm not here trying to make myself better than anybody else. God knows. You talk to my wife someday, he's huh? You know, Amen. 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 But I'll, I'll, I'll only tell you that so you won't ask her that. Don't ask her that! <laughs> Amen. But she's not going to tell you anyway. Amen. Amen. I married the right one. Amen. Amen. She can tell my business. Amen. 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 But don't y'all call her either. Amen. She, she might have more of a weakness. Amen. I can tell somebody. Amen. 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 I, 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 I want to be an encourager. I do want to be an encourager. But also, I want to be somebody who builds relationships within the body of Christ. I don't want to be a divider. I don't want to be a divider. I don't know sometimes uh, I'm going to see that way now. No, I don't want to be a divider. I don't want someone to unify. And I'll perhaps say something about the unified as a body of Christ. We need each other. I know that more than ever. And once in a while, God has shown me just how much we need each other. So I want to personally thank all of you for being there for us. And I want to be here for you. If you're looking, you're not a Christian. The greatest joy is that to all men to become a child of God. You have a chance to become a child of God. I also had it when Smith stood up and said to Beyonce, say, you have a new of Christ. That's joy, man. And I'm glad y'all celebrated that joy. It's a joy to be a child of God. Yes. Man, I'm a child of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, being that I'm a child of God, children of God, you kept how much you children of God. Amen. 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 You know, realize the children of God are your brothers and sisters? Yes. Amen. That's what they are. I got to treat them like brothers and sisters, even though sometimes I want to choke them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Don't look at me funny. That's sometimes that's the church I want to choke. Yes. Amen. 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 